Ethiopia has 30 operational banks and about 10 more are in formation. Analysts say the sector is facing growth challenges with only a few big players enjoying more. The banking sector, uh, even though it collects uh, deposits from more than 40 million people of the, uh, of the entire population of the country, the amount of credit it disperses is very low. They only disperse up to, three, uh, up to uh, 350,000 individuals for credit disbursement. So uh, even though it's growing, but it's not enough. The, the, cr the credit disbursement is not enough. The country is revising its investment law and the existing banking proclamation to accommodate new policies on foreign investment. The introduction of foreign competition has triggered discussions on the possibility of mergers and acquisition of small banks by the bigger ones in order to survive expected competition. Financial analyst Mered says competition will introduce much-needed efficiency. One thing is for sure. The local banks has to get ready. They has to. They, they they need enormous capital, and they need to build their muscles in terms of paid up capital, or in terms of you know devising a new strategy. Uh, you know, uh, reaching out to the uh, to the to, to the to the unbanked community via di the digital means. There is a lot of heated discussion regarding if you open your bank. Uh, one thing for sure is that Ethiopia has to float its bill uh, because it's, it's it's difficult, right? It's difficult to invite a foreign bank w within the current. Uh, Forex regime. The decision by the government to invite foreign investors comes as the conflict in Ethiopia's north threatens to shake investor confidence. But Abiy Ahmed's government has reiterated its readiness for peace. The Ethiopian government, as it relates to the peace talks, is committed to an AU-led process. Um, it has been consistent in uh, that declaration. Banking is the second sector the government is opening up to foreign investment after the telecom industry, which has seen Safaricom Ethiopia set up independent operations in the country. Koleta Anjohi, CGTN, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.